These are the bright, vibrant shades of fabric that I've chosen for my lily. They range it all the way from very light to very dark and match all the shades in my photo. The next thing you're going to need is some fusible webbing. I use a lightweight paperback fusible webbing from Pellon. Be sure that the fusible that you use is sewable, otherwise you'll have a horrible time trying to sew through it. You will need less of some of the shades of fabric and more of others, depending on the size of your project. I need only a small square of some of the shades for my lily. Art quilts are a great way to use up some of your don't know what else to do with fabric because it's too small or your scrap stash. You will want to decide how much fabric of each shade that you're going to need. Our next step is to iron on the fusible webbing. Place your fabric wrong side up on your ironing board. Cut a piece of fusible webbing a little bit smaller than your fabric. Lay the webbing paper side up on the wrong side of your fabric. Following the specific directions for your fusible webbing, iron it on to the back of your fabric. I love my little vintage iron and it works great for this purpose. Be sure to iron the fusible webbing down evenly. Once it cools thoroughly, peel the paper off carefully. And don't touch the webbing side of your fabric with an iron as it will melt and make a mess of your iron. You're going to want to choose one of your fabric shades to be the base of your design. This should be the prominent color shade in your pattern. You want to iron fusible webbing onto this also as this will be ironed to your background shade. Now that all of your fusible webbing is ironed on, we need to color code your fabric to the pattern. You previously gave each shade on your pattern a number. Write each of those color numbers on a small piece of paper. Pin each number to the corresponding shade of fabric. Number one is white on my lily pattern, so I will pin the number one piece of paper to my white fabric. The number two color on my pattern is light blue, so I will pin this to my light blue fabric. Continue to match all of the colors on your pattern to their corresponding shades of fabric. Now all of your shades of fabric should be color coded to your pattern. Color coding all of your fabric to the colors on your pattern makes creating an art quilt much easier. With this method, you will always know where you're at and you will always be well organized. You will want to choose a background color for your art quilt. I have chosen a dark green color for the background of my lily quilt.